welcome to my second part of the trust analysis video tutorial in this video uh, i'm going to show you the rest of the part of this trust analysis procedure and in this video first i'm going to have this my this is my plan and i i already told you in my first video i have this is my main trust which i am right now modeling here which is trust one and i have other two type of trust four tr trust two which will be connected with this trust one and also two trust three which will be also connected with this trust one so i have to calculate the load which is dead load and live load of this trust three and two then i have to apply the reaction of each trust here in this point so if i go here i have to assign a constant load here in this point so first i have to calculate the load here going to my drawing if i calculate the load of this truss i have here almost 16 so i have to multiply this at a uh, load calculation as a tributary width of 8 feet so if i go here in my this calculation so i can calculate that again i have 5.5 dead load which is multiplied by 8 feet divided by 20 divided by 3.28 as i have already shown you how to convert this plf value to a kilo newton per meter so this one my uh, dead load which is kilo newton per meter here and the live load should be 12.5 into 8 divided by 20 divided by 3.28 and if i go here i have this truss length if i take from here and just taking center this is almost 9.9.5 .9 feet and if i take this truss length with diagonal dimension say from center to here i have this is the maximum so i'm calculating this one so i have length 12 feet 3 in say go to here in my calculation sheet so i have 12 feet 3 in to 5 divided by 3.28 so this is meter then i have to calculate here this is my l into this is my kilo newton per meter load which is the total load of the truss divided by 2 to make the shear force or the reaction of this truss uh, of this this truss this is my truss 2 so this truss, this is the uh, bigger truss but i have this truss with a little bit lower length which should be uh, approximate 9 or 10 feet so I'm calculating the maximum one for more specific value you can calculate value of this truss then you can apply concentrated load here for this truss and also for this um, four truss so I'm calculating one here then again here I have the same value then here this one into this one divided by two so I have two point dead load 1.2 kN and for live load i have 2.84 kN so this is my uh, end reaction or i can say this is the shear force of the simple supported beam if, uh, if i consider this way so i have here so this force is for one truss so i have total how many truss are if i go to here i have truss this one this one this one so i have four truss two and i have three truss two so total six truss so i have to multiply this value with six this one into six again this one into six so total value should be 7.51 and this should be for dead load and 17.09 for live first select dead load then click add go to here nodal load this should be fy minus 7.52 7.52 add close select this live load add click nodal load this should be 17.1 minus 17.1 add close okay now i have to select this dead load say 7.52 take this node cursor select this node this one then assign to selected node assign okay now again select this one 17.1 now assign to selected node assign okay done 
so I have assigned this dead load and all this dead and live load I have to assign win load here and I have also another thing I have to select this dead load then click add and cell point factor minus one add close so this will add the cell point so select this cell point from here and check this assign to view assign yes so cell point is added now. so so far we have assigned the dead and live load completely including this concentrated load here now I have to go to here I have to assign here win load and win load with this direction and win load also in this direction so I have calculated my win load I have Excel sheet to calculate my win load and you have to calculate your win load manually as per your code and I have calculated that as per my code and here I have uh, found this value here I can you can see here which is 3.47 kN meter 2.70 kN meter so all are minus minus which indicate which is uh, local y upper uh, upper direction so you can see here here is my calculation preview so I, you can check here my value is here which is kN per meter so I can assign that directly with kN per meter okay done now I have to go to here first let we left add then which is member load in uniform force select this local y here this should be the value is here 3.47 this is for windward so when in this direction this should be 3.47 add and in leeward 2.74 so leeward means this should be for this this side so 2.70 this is also Y local add close now select this load first WL 3.47 and take this beam cursor from here select this one this one and I am considering this is left means it is going to this direction so I am considering this one as left so select this two top chord here and assign to selected member I have already selected 3.47 load here assign yes then select this load 2.7 which should be for leeward so this is if this is windward this should be leeward assign to selected beam assign yes now i have to define the same load for this so w r add the value is from here to go to here member load now select this one this should be 3.47 first then another value 2.7 select this bigger value now the wind is going from this direction to this direction so this is my windward and this is leeward for this case fine wind going this direction select this load and now select this two top chord check this assign to selected beam assign okay now select this load select these two member assign to select beam assign assign okay done so my load definition and assigning of load is done now i have to define the load combination so i have the load combination select this load case detail add from here select load combination i have load combination dead load plus live load first so select right at dead load plus live load select this one this one click this right arrow and this should be default value one factor add then i have dead load plus win load so I have dead, dead load then win L so this one this one the all the factor should be one because I am going to design this is in allowable status design method click this arrow here now add again DL plus win R this one this one and add close so you have to define your load uh, combination as per your code so this may be defined for your course but this is the basic load combination i hope it will be same for all other code but uh, there may be some additional factor here but i have on the factor one here so okay my load uh, combination is also done now i have to go for analyze so if i want to do analyze here i have to go to here command then click here analysis perform analysis okay now click here analysis analyze this step then run analyze then set this model and it will go for run okay 
so this is done now i have to go to here post processing mode okay well, first of all if you want to check this uh, by default this is selected the deflection select from here dead load and live load now you can see here there is a deflected shape if you press control hold down control and scroll your mouse wheel now you can see the shape is just increasing just to show you the exact shape of this deflection so this is my deflection shape if i want to show the value of this deflection i have to go to here result then view value from here beam result then here displacement maximum click here annotate close you can see here i have maximum deflection of 17.33 mm so as per the allowable deflection limit you have to check this if this is okay as per your code and usually this is l by 2 240 also i have this l so if i calculate this this is into 1 100 divided by say 240 so i have 19.89 so this is within the allowable limit so you have to check this this deflection also as per your code requirement okay done and we have not actually finalized our size yet so after finalizing the size the deflection may vary because the cell plate will be increase or decrease after the finalizing of your size so right now we have already analyzed this if i want to check forces from here you can see fx if i click fx you can see the uh, value here just arm uh, deselect this deflection and hold control key and scroll your uh, rotate your wheel of the mouse now the diagram will be in smaller okay done uh, if you want to check the force of this is member you have to go to here result then first select from here fx then go to results v value from here select this one x axial then ends then annotate okay close you can see our value but there is also uh, other good option after designing how to check this tension or compression you can check here the value and as per your combination the value should be changed okay you can check here it is being changed so after completing the design you can check which is which force is governing so just wait until the uh, design is done so now we have so far completed the analysis now we have to go for the design so before you proceed to the structural design you have to make sure that you have defined the load list to define or define the range of the load list you have to go to here in this symbol start editor from here right analysis enter now you will see perform analysis press enter here right load list i have combination of 5 to 7 so my load list should be 5 to 7 so right load list is space 5 is space 2 is space 7 if you have more list then you have to define this list uh, from here i have from starting from 5 and ending from 7 in, in 7 if you have 8 9 10 you have to change that value from here okay done now save this close done now you have to go for structural design so after you have completed your structural analysis then you have to click here this design this right, uh, left side here then from here you will see available design code in this drop down menu and in my case i have aisc asd if you have any other code you have to select from this list available so i am selecting here asd then go to here define parameter now you will see lots of parameter here so depending on your code the parameter will be variable so all the parameter is not required to def uh, define i have to define a few parameter only i, I have designing my trusses so i have to go to here this one FLF YLD which is yield strength of the steel member clean parameter is cut so if I just close this one and go to here and change this inch and say keep ok now go to here different parameter now FYLD so this is 36 KSI so usually my member is 36 KSI as per your member strength you have to define the yield strength this is not the ultimate this is yield okay click here add now i have to define another parameter which is unt unsupported length of top length so 
for my this top member I have pearl in here you can see in my drawing I have this green line is for pearl in. so I have this pearl in at almost one meter or less say uh, uh, I have this is two feet so from here I have to define this this is inch so this should be 24 inch if this is mm this should be 600 or as per your unit showing here you have to assign this value here and as per your spacing of the parling you have to put this value here because as i have parling here the unsupported length of this member should be changed as per the spacing of parling so add here this value so i don't need any other value from here just close this one now here you can see this one select this fyld first and click this assign to view this value should be for all this member that's why i'm selecting this assign to view then now assign okay and for this one this should be for only this top member top member and assign to selected beams assign okay now go to here commands from here i have to check code add and if you want a take up you can also take a uh, Select, uh, take this one as a take up close okay select this one assign to view this this should be checked for all this member that's why assign to view assign and also if you want to do a still take up then you have to select this one then assign to view i want for all this member assign yes done so after doing this you have to go to here analyze run analysis again save okay now done click here post processing okay now click here in this from this list beam and click here you need to check now you can see the value so the value lower than one is appropriate i have greater than one so i have to change the size for this stuff top and bottom code but uh, my vertical and diagonal are already completed so i have to change this so if i go back general size here i have to change this so if i double click on this i can check from this list so i have 50 54 i can check this to 50 50 i can check if there is 50 55 50 56 i hope i will get 50 55 so this is 50 55 and click select this one then click change yes close now again go to here analysis analyze then done analysis save then done post processing okay beam you need to check so my bottom cut is done but my top cut is still have problem so i have to change the uh, size of this member so this way uh, giving a trial you can uh, finalize the value uh, the size of this member so this is the actual procedure so i have tried my best to show you the procedure of analyzing and designing a task using Start pro software i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any comments you can ask me below i will try to answer thanks for watching my this video and hope to see you in any next video